Did you know that Dalmatians have had records all around the world in ancient times? Ever wonder why Dalmatians tend to get along with horses? Interested in learning how Disney's 101 Dalmatians actually hurt the breed more than it helped? Hi there, this is Dr. Dingda. Before we begin, please do support us by subscribing on our channel. We offer you a daily dose of dog related contents. For this video, we will talk about the amazing dog breed, the Dalmatian. Is this dog best for your home? Tune in to find out. Their origins are mysterious. No one knows exactly where the Dalmatian originated. This may be because Dalmatians have often traveled with Romani people who are historically nomadic. The Dalmatian takes his name from a place called Dalmatia, a province of Austria on the eastern shore of the coast of Venice. We know for sure that the breed had a strong hold there, though we cannot be positive that it was their country or origin. The breed is very old. Even though we don't know exactly where they come from, we do know Dalmatians have been around for a long time. Spotted dogs have been found painted on the walls of Egyptian tombs running alongside Charitos. A Dalmatian set the world record for giving birth to the largest litter. The normal litter size for dogs ranges anywhere from 1 to 12 puppies, depending on the breed and other various factors. On average, pregnant dogs tend to produce about 5 to 6 puppies in one litter. However, in 2019, a Dalmatian named Melody gave birth to a remarkable 19 puppies. The amazing Dalmatian gave birth to 9 females and 10 males, all of which were named after Disney characters, according to the owner. I guess the owner was a huge fan of Disney's 101 Dalmatians too. They have served many different purposes. In times of war, Dalmatians served as sentinels at the borders of Dalmatia and Croatia. They have also been herding, ratting and hunting dogs. The Dalmatian is also the only dog breed that was bred for coaching, which means running alongside a stagecoach and clearing crowds out of the way, so the horses could pass through. Dalmatians are born without their iconic black spots. The easiest way of sporting a Dalmatian is undeniable the coat pattern. After all, the cow-like black spotted on a white coat is the signature trait of this breed. But did you know that when Dalmatians are born, they are initially all white, no spots? However, just because they appear all white doesn't mean they don't have any the black spots. You are just not able to see them yet. Young Dalmatian puppies have pigmentation spots, though they are concealed by their white fur in the early days. It takes about two weeks before the spot start to appear on the coat. And from three weeks and on, any fur that grows over the pigmented skin will be a darker color. Their coats are one of a kind. Just like no two people have the same fingerprints, no two Dalmatians have exactly the same pattern of spots. Someone should have told Cruella de Vil that Dalmatians are not good coat material because every section of the coat would have been different. Deepness is a problem. If your doll seems to be ignoring you, it could just be because it can't hear you. Around 30% of all Dalmatians are have some form of deafness. Breeding dogs with their kind of spotted coat can lead to a lack of mature melanocytes in the inner ear. Without this, dogs can have difficulty hearing. Dogs with larger patches of black are less likely to be deaf. Dalmatians have a special affinity towards horses. Given how Dalmatians have spent most of their work life with horses, it's not really a surprise that they tend to get along with these animals. Few of us will ever get the opportunity to watch the friendship of a Dalmatian and horse develop. However, it happens all the time. The history of the Dalmatian and horse relationship can be tracked back to ancient times. Even in ancient Egypt, the Dalmatians were believed to be war dogs and hunting companions. That said, historians believe that the two of species had to learn to work together in order to hunt and fight effectively. Disney cult classic 101 Dalmatians both helped and hurt the breed. Who could forget the Disney classic film 101 Dalmatians? When the remake of the film came out in 1996, it really put the spotlight on Dalmatians. 
However, it actually hurt the breed more than it helped. In the movie, Dalmatians were portrayed as fun, adorable and cheerful dogs. While this is all true, the movie never mentioned the downside to owning a Dalmatian. For example, these dogs are very energetic and require a decent amount of exercise to keep them mentally healthy. Dalmatians also tend to be heavy shedders, which may not be ideal for those allergic to these animals. Fire departments use them as coach dogs. Dalmatians are famous for being firehouse dogs. This is because Dalmatians used to serve as coaching dogs for horse-drawn fire coaches. With the invention of the fire trucks, the Dalmatians weren't really needed anymore. But many firehouses still keep Dalmatians as mascots. Their other names over the years, the breed has gone by other nicknames. This includes the carrier's dog and English coach dog. Those make sense, but other British names include the palm pudding dog and the spotted tick. Not hard to figure why that last one went out of fashion. Dalmatians are very intelligent and as a result, very independent dogs. Without the proper training, they can be willful and stubborn. The demanding dogs need a lot of attention and exercise. Don't get a dull unless you are ready to wake up early and go for long walks.